start. What is your most interesting playoff matchup going into the playoffs? I'll start with you, Mia. Um, I think the most even matchup, so it's probably the most interesting to me, is going to be that Bengals and Raiders matchup. Um, I think both of these teams have some quality pieces, and this is probably going to be the grudge match um, of all the games in the playoffs so far. Okay, that's a good one. I'm going for a reach right here. Um, I'm, I got the Eagles in the Bucks. Um, not to take any way, anything away from Tom, but Tom is missing a lot of weapons. And we're going to have to see what Tom is really made of this season because losing Chris Godwin, Mike Evans is hurt. He's playing hurt. Leonard Fournette, Ronald Jones is inconsistent. I mean, that's a lot of playmakers on the field. And then not to mention A.B. So I'm not saying the Eagles are great. Eagles have a pretty good defense. I think they have a good enough defense that can win them a playoff game. Um, it just depends on the arm of Jalen Hurts and his decision-making. But that's an interesting game for me. And I, I think that's probably the most interesting game this week, um, Bucks and Eagles. Um, I'm, I'm going to go with the Cardinals and Rams because that's another really even matchup to me. And they're also super – good because they're both inconsistent so what version of the team are we going to see uh Matt Stafford you know everyone is like oh my gosh he's an MVP candidate da, 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 I mean while he was on the lines he was super inconsistent sometimes he'd be like awesome five oh four touchdowns oh crazy he's throwing dots and then sometimes he'll just be like what are you doing he's a rhythm guy right and so hopefully they have the rhythm in order to get it but then you have the cardinals who have been on a downtrend so maybe they decide to bounce back too uh i think maybe the cardinals might pull this off in a surprise victory because matt stafford might be the matt stafford we saw on the lines who knows yeah so i definitely was gonna say uh the Bengals and the raiders but me and beat me to it but i'll just say i think the raiders are gonna beat the Bengals. upset alert uh, then when she said that I was going to pivot to the Bucks and the Eagles, but Austin said that. <laughs> but when they played earlier in the season, it was 22 28. It was a close game. And that was in the midst of the Eagles going two and five before they uh, really started uh, becoming the number one rushing attempt team in the league. And then we saw how well they were able to rush the ball for the rest of the season, ultimately ended up nine and eight. Um, and I think anytime you can run the ball that well, you can really beat anybody, especially like you said, Austin. Uh, with the Bucks missing so many weapons. And then, like you talked about, Andrea, just a, a, a juggernaut matchup between the Rams and, and the Cardinals um, and the NFC West, one of the best divisions in football, um, and how that's going to shake out. I think the Cardinals were 8-1 and one on the road this year. So, you know, we'll see how, the, how that plays, especially in L.A., where there's not just a huge home field advantage. Um, but I'm going to pivot and go to another uh, matchup where we'll see these teams face off for the third time this year, and that's going to be the Bucks and the Patriots. The first game – I mean, excuse me, uh, Bills and the Patriots. So the first game in Buffalo – that was the game with 50 mile an hour wins, you know, and, and, and Mac Jones only threw the ball three times. Right. And, and, and uh, the Patriots were able to win that game. And then when they came to new England, it was kind of a different game, better weather. And then we called, saw Josh Allen and Stefan Diggs really show out and kind of force Mac Jones to throw the ball a little bit more. Um, and the bills kind of won that game pretty easily. Right. So what's going to happen in this third edition of this game where you have Josh Allen, probably the most talented quarterback in the NFL in that offense. And then their defense plays really well. And then of course you have, you know, the, the, the GOAT coach uh, and Bill Belichick and, and what's his game plan going to be for shutting down uh, Bill or Belichick? I mean, excuse me. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Josh Allen, <laughs> Brian Dayball in that offense. So I think just the chess match, right, of Bill Belichick in that defense versus Brian Dayball in that offense um, and how that's going to look. Because, like I said, in the first two matchups, they look completely different in each matchup. So how will it look in the trilogy uh, when all the marbles are on the table? So that's going to be my uh, – the most interesting matchup of the weekend to look forward to. Let us know what y'all think in the comments. Once again, thank you for tapping in with SOS Discussion on Spot on Sports, where we're not just accurate, we're spot